Oder? Zieh mal raus. Oh, Nein! Es Baby. ist eine! Bruder, warte, warte, oh! Und das, oh, yes, 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 yes! Oh, finally something good, yes! Hello guys and welcome back to another video of World War II metal detecting here in these absolutely beautiful woods. Yes, I've missed saying that a lot. Been some time since the last real detecting video, I guess. About two years, if I'm not mistaken. So sorry I was gone again. If you've missed it, uh, I put out a comeback video a couple of uh, weeks ago where I just showed you a compilation of all the stuff I have found while I was gone. And yeah, today we are out here again, absolutely beautiful day. And this spot was actually a German camp towards the end of the war. And yeah, they just lost some stuff, threw it all away before going into capture. So I'm out here again searching for the past. Um, I found some stuff here before. It was featured in the last video, like a, a helmet, bayonets, gun parts, a ring. There's just so much and there has to be even more here. So without further talking, I'd say let's just see what history has in store for us today. Looks like I found a small dump pit with uh, rounds. And I think they might be from PPSH, the Russian submachine gun. They definitely look like it. Still in pretty good condition. Interesting to find those here. Oh! Look at this, guys. It's actually also an ammo pouch, not only the rounds. I've never seen this kind of pouch before. It's not German, I don't think. Wow, look at the leather. Still seems in pretty good condition. Huh, maybe a Russian or Soviet ammo pouch. Who knows? Would definitely make sense with the PPSH rounds here. All right, got a pretty big iron signal here. Who knows what it could be? There's definitely lots of World War II stuff around, so might as well dig it, right? I mean, I'm gonna dig everything here, so I can definitely feel iron. Yep, there it is. What could it be? What could it be? Oh, the ground is very hard to dig through. So many roots in the way. Uh, but there it is. Here it comes. It's a tool of some sort. Very strange shape, though. It's like rectangular. Huh, could this tool have been used for? Write a comment if you know. I'm clueless, but interesting find. A very good signal here, but seems to be very shallow, so not sure if it's old or just junk. Let's see here. Huh, it could be something good. Blocked by this big branch here, but let's see if we can just get it out with our fingers. Well, maybe it's even a bit deeper in there. Oh man, the mosquitoes are killing me. Uh, I regret not bringing spray. Didn't think it was this bad, but apparently it is. Literally can't even sit down. What is that? What is this, guys? Uh, now they're flying into my ear. This is hell. This is hell. Come on, what is this? Ah, uh, it's just... Oh, there we go. Can you see that? It looks shiny. Oh, it's shiny. Yo! Looks like silver. What is that? Or is it just a can? Let's see. <gasps> oh! Yo, that looks nice. I think it might be a cigarette casing or something. It's probably silver, right? Got some flowers on there? It appears to be crushed, but yeah, I guess some sort of cigarette casing. Nice, that's a cool little personal find. Oh man, these mosquitoes. Also somewhat deep. There it is, I can feel it. It's probably a tool again. Maybe something else this time. There we go. Oh, it's long. 
I can, oh, I think it's a magazine actually. Let's get it out. Oh yeah, look at this. That's an MP40 magazine, very cool. Found some fragments from another one just before this one. Look at that. Man, how cool would it be if we find the actually MP40 submachine gun. Very iconic German weapon from the World War II era. These are very corroded. The ground isn't exactly good on the iron, but that doesn't matter. Oh, is it actually empty? Oh, it's empty! I can actually take this home with me, that's cool. If they're full, of course you can't take them, but this one seems to be empty. Nice! Also just found these uh, parts from a K98 bayonet scabbard. Broken, but still nice indicator of the activity here. So yeah, MP40 magazine. Maybe, who knows, we get lucky. <laughs> Gonna continue detecting and see what else comes up. So before we continue, I want to show you something amazing. So recently, metal detecting company Dr. Ötek reached out to me and they sent me this awesome sample of their new pinpointer model, the MT6 Pro. And what can I say, it's used it quite a lot already and it's an awesome little thing. What I love about the most is it's actually waterproof up until three meters. So I'm going to take it uh, with me in the lakes, snorkeling, looking for World War II relics there towards the summer, so that's going to be awesome. And for the price point of only like 50 bucks, it's also good for beginners or if you're looking to upgrade your cheap um, pinpointer. Yeah, it's an awesome little thing. So let me show you a little quick comparison to my Garrett ProPointer 2, which I've been using for ages. Um, it's a nice pinpointer, don't get me wrong, but it's like 150 euros, so maybe not as beginner friendly as the MT6. Um, let's just check out a little depth comparison now. This is the MP40 magazine we just found. And this is where the Garrett starts peeping, about here. And now let's turn on the MT6. There we go. And as you can see, it's got absolutely great depth. Pretty much the same as the Garrett, if not even more. And for only the third of the price, this is definitely the way to go. So if you're looking for a quality pinpointer, you're just starting out the hobby or you want to upgrade yours, this is a good option. I'm going to put the link to the MT6 in the description. And yeah, thank you Dr. Ötek for sending me this one. It's awesome. Of course, the one time I don't film, we find something good. The signal was very scratchy, so I didn't even bother turning the camera on. It was quite deep. And look at what just came out of the hole. I think that is actually a very old silver coin. No, did I damage it? Oh, I hope not. Is it a coin or is it a button? Yo, it's a very old silver coin. What the hell? Well, I did not expect to find it something odd like this here. Uh, unfortunately, I think I scraped it a bit with the spade. Maybe with the pinpoint, I don't know, but you can see it's very shiny. <laughs> what the hell? Don't want to scratch it too much, just brush gently the dirt off. Ooh. Oh, look at that! What? Is this something with Reichtaler? Reichtaler? Oh, I'm not really into old coins, so sorry for my. Well. Oh! Sex ein Reichstaler! 1766! What the hell? Yo! That's insane! Over 200 years old! Oh my god, I'm not usually into old stuff, but man, this is, this is mind-blowing. What? Okay, there's a massive iron signal here. Could it be even more equipment from the Wehrmacht? Ah, here it is. Look at that, it's another MP40 magazine, wow! Man, where's the MP40? It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy, and this one? I think it's full or maybe, no, I don't know. It's just a spring up here where you would push the bullets in. Wow, that's crazy. Like basically the third magazine already. Nice. Let's get it out. Uh, yeah, just, oh, it's actually um, shovel head. Probably from the spade of one of the soldiers who dug all these positions close to here. Yeah, definitely World War II era. Nice find. Yet another shovel. This one is a different shape though, more corroded, but yeah. 
imagine all the hard work they had to do digging these damn deep positions towards the end of the war. Man, absolutely crazy. There's just so many massive iron signals here. But you know, you gotta dig them. Could be bayonets, could be helmets, could be part of guns, I don't know. Lots of the equipment is made from iron, obviously, so gotta dig all the signals. Now, what we got here? What do we got here? Uh, that is, oh, <laughs> what I was just talking about, apart from a gun. Uh, it's the trigger guard and the magazine box. But I've never seen this part. Very strange. Is it German? No clue. If you know, comment down below. Maybe I can research it and show you a picture, but yeah, never seen this before. Very cool though. Goes to show, there's still lots of, oh, it was two stuff around here. Let's see what this is. Not big enough for the MP40. That's a horseshoe. Eh, that's good luck for us. I think I may have found a rifle part here. Could be a bolt, maybe not. But yep, it's a K98 rifle bolt. Man, I've lost count how many of these I found so far. <laughs> but strangely enough, found lots of weapon parts in this location, but not a complete gun yet. Not a K98, nothing. Not like I want to find them, <laughs> but still, cool piece of history. Well, I may have judged this place too soon. There's a big iron signal <laughs> right next to the hole where we just found the bolt. So that might be the rifle. Probably. Oh no, it's um, part of the, yeah, it's a trigger. Look at that. Oh, it's a pistol. What the fuck? Oh, no, don't wanna swear. <laughs> um, what the hell? It's part from a pistol. I'm not sure which pistol, but that's strange. They don't, more stuff? Yeah, more stuff. Uh, maybe the slide as well. Uh, there we go. Oh yeah, that's a slide from the pistol. Look at that. Huh. Yeah, it's very bad condition, the iron here, because the ground is so wet all the time, but that's cool to see. Nice. Oh, delicious signal. Come on. At this point, I'm pretty sure all I find is old stuff. There hasn't been a single bottle cap or anything like that. Come on. Come on, come on. Let's be careful here. Oh, I can see something sharp. Really? Right as I say that, we find the first bottle top. Oh, come on, come on now. <laughs> so I think I'm about to call it a day. Really exhausted. Need to eat something, recharge some energy. But before that, I'm gonna show you what we found here today. Of course, starting with the awesome coin from 1766. Still can't believe that I usually never find silver coins, so that one is a welcome surprise. This one is a pre-war Third Reich era one Reichspfennig. Don't find these a lot, very good condition. So not made from zinc, but from copper. So yeah, that's why it's still in nice shape. Um, after cleaning it up, I think I recognize it now. Um, it's probably a German P38 with the barrel missing. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure. Um, so just a slide, the grip piece, of course, that I've seen better days too, but still a very neat find. Don't find that a lot. So K98 bolt, yeah, the usual. Don't really have to <laughs> say a lot about that because we find that nearly every time. Um, still the mystery piece from a gun magazine box as well as trigger guard. Gonna research that later on. And now this I found on the surface. It's obviously a barrel from a gun, but what kind of gun? Is it actually from the MP40? No idea, but would make sense considering we have found all these magazines. <laughs> Very cool. They're also all empty, so I can take at least the two ones um, here, which are in okay shape. Not too bad, not too good, but still need find. Um, the ammo pouch from the PBSH bullets, apart from a hood steel cap. Now this one was a very interesting find. It's obviously a toothpaste tube but it literally says Zahnpasta, so toothpaste, which I find a bit odd considering most of the tubes usually say the name of the brand on there, not actually just toothpaste. So yeah, that's a cool find. Um, 
And of course the little cigarette casing or whatever it once was, a bit crushed, but I believe it's silver and it looks cool, so nice find. Bayonet scabbard, some buggles, some shell casing, some junk. And these things I found from time to time, um, but I don't know what they are. Got little cogwheels in there. If you know, let me know down in the comments. Mystery objects and yeah, lots of junk. Okay, so I was just ready to head home, already packed my stuff up and then walking through the woods I spot this. So I think, wait, what? How does like a flower pot get here? It's so deep in the woods. And then I turn it around. It's actually Bakelite and look at that. Look at that. That is uh, the cover for a German field telephone from World War II. Oh, that is absolutely insane. And now I have to get my detector back out because I'm motivated again. Just look at it. It says, it's basically the alphabet with names um, after each letter, so one could identify, you know, the spelling of the letter, something like that at least. I don't know how to describe it, but you get the point. And yeah, it's been laying here ever since. Oh, look at that, even some electrical stuff on that sign there. Oh man, that is so cool. I haven't detected here before, so I'm very, very eager to get the detector back out. It's late, but whatever, let's just do it. Okay, so I just encountered this massive signal. It's pretty deep in there, so I think I'm gonna skip the time a bit here for you guys and see if I can get it out. Oh, look at that. The pinpointer is all the way in there. Wow, it's really deep. Damn, that could be something good. <gasps> oh, guys, do you see, do you see that? It's a lever strap! Oh my god! Don't tell me, don't tell me this is actually a helmet. Or is it from a gun? Like a carrying strap? Oh man, that's definitely from the World War II era. 100%. It's so similar to the helmet I found here last year. Look at that! It's a buckle and more lever. What the hell? Oh, I can, I can, no, that's a root. Is it iron? What is that? It's iron. It's definitely iron, but what from? What could give me such a huge signal? Just some... Nah, that's not it. More lever. Something red down there. What could that be? Eh? It's red? Red paint? What the hell? A sign maybe? But why the lever straps then? That's strange. Come on. Uh, there we go. I decided to break it. I'm sorry, guys, but I don't think it's anything good either way. So, yep, that's what I figured. What the hell? How does this end up down there? And on top of that, leather straps, which appear to be from World War II down there. What the hell? It's just a ball, and I for sure thought I'm gonna find a helmet today. Damn! Ah, oh, that's a disappointment. Is there something else still in there? Nope. That's it? That's it? How? How? Could be World War II, I guess, but the paint looks so fresh. Oh boy, oh boy. Next to a stupid pot, I don't even know where I'm digging. It's probably the lid for the pot or something like that. Oh, I can feel it. What's that? Um, is it like a dump pit? I think I heard some glass down there. Look. Yeah, I thought I heard some glass. That's, that's from World War II, right? It's like a gauge from a plane. Isn't it? Or from a vehicle, or rather. It's Bakelite. Does it even... No, it doesn't make a sound. So that was just coincidental that we found that. Wow, that's cool. Little gauge, maybe for a speedometer. All right, camera is low on battery, so gotta hurry. Great signal, fantastic signal. But not too deep, so probably junk. But let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. 
Oh, it's out already. Oh, ooh, look at that. That's a seashell. <laughs> Maybe some piece of jewelry. <laughs> Very nice. All right, got some iron here. Feels interesting. And indeed it is. It's a pistol. Little pocket pistol. Well, I've seen better, but it's still interesting to find. Can't keep them anyway, so <laughs> definitely pretty neat. And just look at that. Look at this tiny trigger. My, <laughs> my finger can barely fit through there. The grips made from wood, most mostly rotten away. But that's interesting. Don't really find these often. Uh, I uh, don't think the slide is in there. Yeah, as I said, the ground isn't too good to the iron here, but it doesn't really matter. I mean, it goes to show it was definitely worth starting to detect here. There's gotta be so much stuff here, man. So much, and I wanna get one more good signal, like a personal find. Always these damn guns. <laughs> it's cool finding them, but after you find them so many times, you kind of get sick of them. All right, so there is a pretty interesting swampy area here, and as you can see, An absolutely massive signal. There's also a dugout over there. So my guess is back in the day this was flooded and they just dumped stuff in here and I gotta get this out. It's so late. I'm hungry, but this is driving me nuts. So many signals, so many indicators. We gotta keep going. Mm -hmm. What's this? Oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, finally something good, yes! And it is in the little swamp area here. Oh, that's awesome. And by the way, I stopped digging that hole. It was just getting way too muddy. <laughs> and it was too deep, maybe another day. But finally, that's, oh, that's awesome. So I think this is a, a Stalag tag. So prisoner of war ID tag, definitely. Oh, yes. Oh, that is an awesome find. So basically, the Russian and American prisoners of war in the German camps would get these tags with uh, an identification number. And that number, I can't really make that out, but with the number you can identify the camp they were imprisoned in. So I found a couple of these before. This one is actually kind of small. Huh. But that is an incredible find in the swamp here. Oh, there's gotta be so much more stuff, guys. So much more stuff. I'm glad I went here. <laughs> oh, that's an awesome find. Very personal. That's what I was after. Not the damn gun parts, but finally something personal. One can only imagine what happened here. Yeah, that's strange. Maybe the Germans had some prisoners of war with them when they dug out this camp. Maybe they had them dig out the positions for the camp. I don't know. Because I have found one of these in this exact location before. Well, a couple of kilometers away, but basically the same location. So, yeah, who knows? That is an awesome find to end it with. On my way back to the bag. Getting one more good signal here. Ugh. Very clean, very clean. 82. Come on. There it is. Maybe another... <laughs> Good last find, who knows? Right there. Oh, I can make something out. Is it a shell casing? Yeah, it's a shell casing. That is a 50 caliber shell casing. Fired by American aircraft, I believe. For the Browning machine gun or something. Cool. All right, it's finally time to go home. It's super late, but I'm very... <laughs> Very happy with the stuff we found and all of it just because I stumbled across this lid. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna return here next week, judging by the stuff that's around here. There has to be more. This little gauge for a vehicle maybe. Very cool. And the pocket pistol, the seashell, some buckles. Buckles are always a good sign. So that means they have been here for a longer time. Dropped some personal stuff, lost some stuff. And yeah shell casing and is of course <laughs> the Stalag tag which is super cool always love finding personal items like this and you can see the damn mosquitoes I better head home now but man that is an awesome find
All right, so that's it for today. But that's not the end of the video because I still have some more clips uh, from the last couple of months when I went out with my mate. We found some pretty cool stuff. So I guess I'm just gonna throw those clips in here because they were not enough to make a whole video. And we talk German, so I'm probably gonna subtitle them. Do let me know in the comments how you like that. Um, because, well, <laughs> with us both being German, it's easier to just talk German instead of English. So. Um, I figured I'm gonna add subtitles and if you like that maybe I can do more in the future with him and subtitle that as well. But other than that I'm definitely gonna be back here next week and see what else comes up. Alter, ja, man. heftig, man. Glücklich wieder hast du mal so. Du hast mich richtig gepiekt, das Ding. <lacht> ach, sogar die, ach, die Nadeln meintest du, ja. Mhm. Die haben mich richtig Geil, eine Flosse gepiekt, die Dinge. Heftig! Hast du, ein, hast du Was? Passt der rein bei dir? Ja, ja. Coinpad. Aber hat er richtig aufgerissen hier, ne? Was du für ein Adler-Dude bist, ey. Immer findest du die Adler. Noch immer an die Halben, ne? <lacht> Schade ist, ne? Guck mal gleich, ob hier noch ganz der alte Flügel ist. Ja, ganz alter. Heftig, Mann. Sehr nice. Okay, ne? Ja. Ist das Standard? Herr, der sieht so groß ist aus. Her. Nee, sieht so klein aus. Was? Ich fand, ich mein, ja, von, ja, das ja. Ja, ne? das meine ich ja, von der ja. Ausdehnung so. Stimmt. Mhm. Geil. Guck mal, jetzt haben wir hier schon ein Stück. Mm. Aber das sieht doch alt aus. Ja. Nicht, nicht russisch oder so. Mm. Bruder. Ich, ich, ich grab langsam drum rum. Mm. Da das siehst du schon, das ist zugemacht. Ja, es, ja, ja, es ist hier wie so ein, sieht raus, wie so ein sieht Gurt. Raus. Oh, da ist noch. Er, das ist er. Aber es ist eher wie eine Tasche und nicht wie ein Holster, ne? Das ist eine. Das ist kein Guck Holster. Mal oben. Na klar, zieh mal Aber raus. der sieht doch so quadratisch aus. Ja? Ja. Ich grab hier noch ein Stück, warte. Das ist eine Tasche nur. Ja, das ist eine Tasche. Hä? Aber mit so einem Riemen drüber. Ja, ja. Da, er kommt. Raus ist er, eine. Es ist kein Holster, ich merke das doch. Oder? Zieh mal raus. Oh, Nein! Es Eine. ist eine! Bruder, warte, warte. Oh! Digga, schön, Alter. Alter, wirklich. Und geil, Mann. Das letzte Signal. Ja, geil. Oh. Oh. Was ist das für ein Hobel, Alter? Geil! Der ist ja riesig! Und ich hab's dir gesagt! Du hast es gesagt! Ich hab's dir Ich hol gesagt. ihn langsam raus! Alter Junge! Schön, Das Mann. ist die zweite Ever, die ich in einem Holz ja? finde. Ja, ja, ich hatte schon Schön. mal eine. Die sieht aus wie meine fast, ne? Ja, ne? Form. Oh. oh, guck dir mal das Leder. Behalte Alter, das Leder. ja, ja. Scheiße! Ja, aber Leder, Konservierung Fotos natürlich noch, schwierig, ne? Ja. Fotos mache ich noch. Junge, Junge, Junge! Das hätte ich jetzt nicht gedacht. Aber er lag so mhm. drin, ich dachte, er geht jetzt so quadratisch, mhm. aber das, der Lauf war nach unten gerichtet. Mach Scheiße, ja, mach ich. Ich mach's noch ein bisschen sauber. Geil, Alter. Oh, ist das clean, Junge. <lacht> Nicht schlecht. Ja, ich ja, mach den so. vorsichtig hier auf, ne? Mal. Da kommt schon der Griff. Mhm. Bisschen korrodiert? Ja, ein bisschen. Ist es eine FN? Mhm. Ich glaube, ich schätze. Das Logo? Sieht fast so aus wie, wie die FN, die ich letztens nee, habe. Nee, oder? Doch, könnte sein. Aber meine war halt gar nicht in so einem Holz da drin. Ne? Na, so halb, ne? Ich ziehe ihn raus, den Hobel. Ah, ein bisschen vorsichtig ja, hier. Ein drauf. Ah, kann man nicht viel machen. Der klebt da halt ein bisschen drin fest, ne? Das geht sehen, ne? Oh, da, jetzt. Da, FN. Na, natürlich. Komm ja, ne? Hin. Das ist die Na, Hälfte, Hälfte, ich ne? Ich hab's dir gesagt. Ihr habt schon vorher gesehen. Ist das dieselbe? Das ist die gleiche. Das ist die. Gleiche. Das ist die, das ist die. So holen wir ihn mal raus. Zeig mal, oder? Nee, das ist nee. eine andere. Oder, nee, da fehlt ein Teil vom Schlitten, kann das sein? Ja, auf jeden Fall. Das, oder, da, doch, das ist die gleiche. Mhm. Doch, das mhm. ist sie. Wie, was war das? FN Browning ja. 1908, warte, warte, ich ja, mach mal voll. sauber. Da, doch, da. das ist sie. Ja, oh, schön, aber. Schöner Zeitzeuge, ne? Der Griff ist noch sehr schön. Ja, warum eine andere so verkackt ist, ne? Das weiß ich auch nicht. Vor allem die, das liegt ja auch nicht hier drin, der Rest. Da muss das ja schon damals kaputt mhm. gewesen sein. Lustig, die Tasche, ne? Ja, das ist sehr cool. Ja, geil, ey. Schick. Aber das Logo ist auf jeden Fall ein anderes. Mhm. Tatsächlich. Aber ich habe gedacht, so geschwungen. Ja. Das ist eine andere, das ist eine andere von... Dings. Oh, das ist Schick, ja. Schicker kleiner Zeitzeuge, ne? Mhm. Kam da noch was ordentliches. So yeah, as it turned out, the pistol we found was a German Dresen 1907, so an even pre-World War One gun, which is absolutely mind-blowing. Um, its caliber was the 7.65 Browning, and it was used mostly in World War One. Um, this particular one was probably reused by a soldier in World War Two, and then dumped towards the end of the war. 
Um, we also thought the slide was missing as it looked kind of weird from above, but it turns out the Dreyse just looks like that. And in the video we were also debating if it was a FM Browning 1903 since they look kind of similar and my mate found this one not too long ago also in a holster in amazing condition. So yeah, the difference is kind of hard to tell in relic condition if you're not familiar with it, but the grips gave it away in the end. So that was it for this adventure, I hope you enjoyed it, more videos are in the works and I'll see you guys in the next one.